It is now time for one of our favorite segments. You're dead to me. As you know, when Jews fight, they fight, and it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's I've bad. Heard. They stop talking to each other. And <laughs> joining us now on the program is our returning dead to me champion, my mother, Ruth Harris. There she is in New York and Long Island. You look great, Ruth. Thank you. Now, we know there are over 10 people uh, and counting dead to you. Who is dead to you and for what reason this week? This segment is a cousin of mine. A oh, cousin? Yes. I have a cousin who I was very, very close with. I may start crying when I talk about her. That's so, okay. Ray likes that. She, uh, we spoke to each other every single day, I'd say, for about 40 years. Either she, well, she just passed away, but that's not who's dead to me. Uh, <laughs> well, she is dead to you. We were at a wedding approximately six years ago, and my daughter and my son-in-law came, and we took our little grandchild because we had nowhere to... She was two years old, Madison. We had no babysitter for her, so we asked the relatives if she can come, and they said yes. Uh, we were sitting at the table, and evidently they didn't want to sit with us for some reason. Maybe because my grandchild was there, she was a child, I don't know. So they asked us to move. Her daughter asked us to move, not her. And I said, no, I'm not moving. This is the place setting they gave us. And um, my the wedding was my cousin's great niece, who's my second, third cousin, whatever you want to call her. And uh, evidently, they didn't invite their children. Uh, my cousin's grandchildren, they didn't invite them. So maybe they were a little upset that my and granddaughter was there and my granddaughter was sitting at the table, whatever. Okay. And you wouldn't move, it was your place. place. Right, it was my place. Well, I didn't have any place to move anyway. There was no empty tables there. The tables were all full. They asked me to move. Anyway, what happened was at the end of the wedding, when the wedding was almost over, uh, there's another cousin there who's dead to me. And was dead to them. Nobody talks to this cousin. And my daughter decided to talk to her. Stacy. Yes, that's her name. <laughs> Stacy decided to talk to her. And uh, look, she's her own person. She wanted to talk to her. Let her talk to her. It's fine okay. with me. Right. You weren't mad. It wasn't really fine, but this is what she wanted. And that was okay. it. And my other cousin does not talk to her. They did not, none of them talk to her. So at the end of the wedding, after Stacy spoke to her, the daughter came over to my daughter and started going ballistic on her. Why did you talk to her? You have some nerve. And she went on and on and on. And I knew that I had to defend my daughter. And my daughter started crying. That's how bad it was. And uh, I said, Stacy, let's say goodbye. We never have to talk to them again. So the only person I was upset about not talking to was my cousin's mother, who we were closer than sisters, closer than cousins, whatever you want to call it. We had a fantastic relationship, both of us. It was like but just, just like you took your daughter's side, your cousin had to take her own daughter's right, side. Right. And I didn't speak to them for years, and every day I would cry, and, and it was awful because I was devastated. Two years ago... Uh, the grandson of her son, not her daughter, was getting married, and it was an engagement party. So I call, so they invited me, and I figured it was a mistake. You know how people have labels, <laughs> you know how people have labels now; and they just stick them on envelopes. Yeah. So I had Stacy call my cousin, not my cousin who I was close with, but the, the daughter, father, the father of the. Uh, room, so to speak, and she says, is it a mistake? You really want my mother there? Because none of them spoke to me for four years, five years. So they said, yes, they want me there, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, I'll go because I really wanted to see my cousin. So I went and I spoke to my cousin and I tried speaking to her daughter and her daughter did not want to talk to me. She's the one who did it and I was willing to make up with her Wow, you were willing to make up. Right, I gave her an olive branch. She didn't want to. And uh, that was it. So I will never talk to them again. So she's dead to you. Good for you. 
Good for wow. you, Ruth. All because Stacy spoke to this other cousin at a wedding. All because she went ballistic on my daughter. And she really went ballistic on her. She really, really was terrible. All right. Thank you very much. We got to take We love you. Ruth Harris, ladies and gentlemen, our Dead to Me champion. We'll be right back.